Hi, I'm your instructor, Frank Kane, and we're going to learn about Spark Streaming. Why should you listen to me? Well, I spent nine years at Amazon.com and IMDB.com making sense of their massive data sets, and I've been staying off the latest technology. A hot new technology now is Spark Streaming, and that not only lets you process massive data sets across a cluster of computers, it lets you do it in real time as that data comes in. At the end of this course, you'll be able to use Spark Streaming to process massive data sets as it comes in in real time. Maybe it's user behavior data coming in from web logs. Maybe it's sensor data from Internet of Things applications. Whatever the source, big data processing is a very hot and valuable skill these days, and Spark Streaming is an important piece of technology for it. After getting everything set up, we'll dive right into a Spark Streaming application that actually processes a Twitter feed, live tweets in real time using Spark Streaming. And after that, I'll give you a crash course in the Scala programming language. Scala is what Spark itself is written in, and it's the best choice for doing Spark streaming. Don't worry, Scala is not too hard to learn, and I'll give you lots of hands-on examples to get familiar with the language. It's not that hard. Next, I'll show you how we can actually integrate Spark streaming into other systems, including Spark SQL, Kinesis, Kafka, Flume, Cassandra, and more. After that, we'll do some more complicated stuff. I'll show you how to maintain stateful information in a Spark stream and keep track of web sessions. And we'll actually do some real-time machine learning, believe it or not, using linear regression and k-means clustering using a real-time stream of data from Spark Streaming. Finally, we'll go through setting up Spark Streaming in a production environment. What do you need to set it up? How do you get it running on a cluster? How do you troubleshoot it? How do you tune its performance? We'll go through all of that and show you how it actually works in the real world. Is this course for you? Well, if you have any programming or scripting ability, then I think you can pick it up. Yeah, a little bit of experience with uh, Spark or Scala would help, but it's not necessary. We do cover all those basics in the beginning of the course. So as long as you have some programming or scripting experience, you should be okay. So check out some preview lectures and hit the button to take this course. I think you'll find it's a good investment of your time. Big data is a very hot skill these days, and Spark streaming is an important part of it. See you in the course.